Hello guys, welcome to Ruchat channel. In the last lecture, we were seeing about animal science. In that, I have told you the general introduction of animal science and also have given you some important animals with their utilization and domestication. So now in this lecture, I have brought two very important animals. One is the sheep and the second one will be cattle. So total their information, including scientific names, or uh, some important terms which are used in them, everything information I am going to provide to you. So let us start. At first, I have brought sheep for you. Let us study about sheep. So ovi, ovi is the scientific name which is given to sheep. Next one is ram. Ram is an uncastrated male sheep. What is meant by the term uncastrated? Whatever the animals are there, these animals have some testicles in them. So these testicles are not being removed from the body of that organism or that animal. That term will be called as uncastrated male sheep. Next one is weather. What is weather? This is castrated male sheep. The testicles of that particular animal are being totally removed. That term is weather. You will call that as weather. Next one is E. E is a female sheep. Whatever the female sheep is there, that is being termed as ewe. Secondly, we have ram, ram lamb. So, what is this ram lamb? Whatever the young male is there, which is young, it is not, it has not become old yet. So, that term is ram lamb. Next one, we have eve lamb. Whatever the young female is there, that will be called as your eve lamb. Simple, it is very simple. Uh, whatever the lamb term is there, that will be used same everywhere. Just the thing is ram and eve. So, ram will be male. And your Eve will be the female for sure. Next will we have newborn. You know newborn is the lamb. Means whatever baby is being produced that will be called as your newborn baby. So next one is lambing. This is act of parturition in sheep. So whatever your sheep is there it is going to give birth to some uh, baby. So that will be called as lambing. It is act of parturition in the sheep. Then gestation length. Gestation length is pregnancy time. So gestation length for your sheep is of 150 days. So this is some of the general information about sheep. Next day I have written on a paper about cattle. I will read and explain about it also. Okay. So let us just begin with cattle. So cattle's scientific name is bovine. Bovine will be the scientific name. Next is bull. Bull is uncastrated male beef that is the dairy animal. Stir. Stir is castrated male uh, beef. It is also a dairy animal which gives us milk. Nextly, we have heifer. Female beef or dairy animal that has or not had a calf. Means which have not given birth to any uh, baby yet. That will be called as your heifer. Next is cow. This is the very common term. Everybody of us have heard the name that is cow. So female beef or dairy animal that has had a calf. Calf means what? That has a, a baby that have been parturated. So that will be called as your cow. Calf. Young beef or dairy animal that has a uh, male or female means uh, calf will be uh, in, in the calf it has been actually parturated and it may be a male or it may be a female for sure. Next we have bull calf. Bull calf will be called as young male. Whatever the young born male will be there we will call it as bull calf. Bull and cow these terms we know actually. And heifer calf. Heifer calf will be of course your young female. Calf term will be used for female and bull is been used for the uh, male actually. Next is calving. Calving will be the act of parturition which takes place in the cow for sure. Uh, as we have seen in sheep it was lambing. So here it, it will be calving. Next is gestation length is of 282 days or you can call it as 9 months. As like in our young uh, human female uh, same is about the cows also. For now 9 months parturition time uh, parturition is been done after nine months that is 282 days of gestation so this was some general uh, information i have given to you about the cattle and about the sheep and in the next lecture we will discuss about more animals in detail thank you so much